Love a nice win with the white pieces today. Pleased with your game? Uh, yes. Anytime I win, I'm pleased. I think generally the level of opening preparation and uh, the class of the players has uh, raised uh, by a mile in, in uh, last open I played. It wasn't that difficult. Also, I have to say it was great to have you back on the live boards today so we could actually follow the beautiful game you played. You must not have played on a non-DGT board in a really long time. What was that like yesterday? Uh, it took off the pressure so I could concentrate and play better than I played on the first day. You played so, so much better that you finished the game very quickly yesterday so you didn't get to enjoy that for too long. Yeah, it's true, it's true, but uh, I mean, the game was short, but very enjoyable for me. And how has your experience uh, in an open tournament playing here in Gibraltar been so far? It's very enjoyable. Uh, I mean, I, you know, I'm playing every time I play somebody new that I haven't played before. So it, it's kind of a challenge and I love challenges. So I look forward to my next games. It's also very different because you're, uh, you're very used to playing certain players throughout the year who you, uh, you meet your colleagues very often across the board. And here, 90% of the people you've, you have no idea about. So how's that psychologically? It's kind of easier in some way because you know that uh, these guys don't know you and you don't know them, so the pressure is off. I mean, you don't have to settle some scores and things like this. And I have to ask you, I mean, what is the, how do you adjust to an open tournament format? Because it's been a long time since you've played one. Uh, what is the difference and how do you adjust to it? I won't say I have adjusted yet. I'm in the process. Uh, but I think <coughs> the important thing in, in an open tournament is to take more risks. Well, in uh, round robin, you know that uh, you know, there are certain... Uh, amount of points that you need to score and there is uh, I mean that's that's the goal here the goal is very much dependent on how your uh, opponents or your peers play so you, you push much more for a win in an open tournament and in that uh, quest of pushing harder for a win do you also adapt your openings yeah you, you try to play something that uh, will give you more chances. And I have to go back to round one, which was a big upset for the Gibraltar Chess Festival where uh, you drew with Anita. How was that game and uh, what were your feelings after? Yeah, I was, uh, I mean, I generally don't play well in the first round. So something I'm, one of the few things I share with uh, Mikhail Tal. So that makes me happy in some way. Sometimes Magnus Carlsen as well. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, this time uh, it was beyond bad. <laughs> so I was just uh, blundering things, which I shouldn't. And uh, yeah, I was, at some point I needed to go for a draw. I didn't, and then I knew that I'm losing, but uh, okay. It's also uh, difficult for my opponent. So it was a draw and I was kind of upset, but at the same time, you know, uh, what to do? Yeah. I haven't played uh, in an open tournament for quite a long time, so I understood that it's a part of, it's a part of it. It's, it's a cup that I have to drink. <laughs> And then you played two beautiful games, attacking games, where you won really quickly. So did you, uh, did you just talk yourself through it? Or is there anything particular that you do to get your mood back? Because in general, you're a very happy-go-lucky guy. Yeah, well, uh, I, I knew that I was playing white. And I thought, OK, I need to uh, go for an attack, which generally, I mean, when you attack, it, it's, it's much better for your mood and defending, <laughs> that's, that's what my experience tells me. And yeah, I, I like the way I played yesterday and I like the way I played today, so it, it was fun.
Right, my final question now before we let you go, something that I'm sure a lot of chess fans think about and would love to know. Now, two of the world's best tournaments clash with each other. As chess lovers, we, we hope and pray that would change one day, but we've got Waikanse, which is this traditional super tournament, unmatched in many ways, and we've got the best open in the world, the Gibraltar Chess Festival. A player like you, who's been a regular at Waik, how do, you, how do you decide between the two, or what is it that motivated you to come here this time? Uh, I, you know, since I uh, like to play in Vikingse, uh, it was difficult for me to uh, choose uh, Gibraltar this year, but uh, last year I had, I mean, a year before I had some bad play in Vikings A, so I thought, okay, it's time to change. Time for a break. Yeah, yeah. So it's not that I don't enjoy being here. I absolutely love being here. Uh, and uh, the weather and generally the atmosphere is wonderful. But uh, I have to say, oh. it's normally just the way it goes. You don't really choose. Mainly the organizers choose you. <laughs> Right, well, we absolutely love having you here. Thank you for your time and good luck. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yay!